Hallelujah, praise God. This video is specifically a message for Anita Fuentes. If you know her, if you, uh, I'm going to put on here message from God for Anita. The reason, I don't know why, just I keep getting prophecies for her. I don't know why, but the Holy Spirit, Jesus is Lord. So wait for it. Here it comes. I don't even know the full scope of this word. I just know the first few things I'm going to say. And from there, God's going to flow more. Anita Fuentes. <laughs> There's been a lot of people contradicting your teaching, saying the rapture happens first. Rapture's going to happen. We're all going to be taken out of here. And you're right. World War III is going to happen first. Then the Antichrist system wins. Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and Obama's part of it. Canada, believe it or not, Trudeau is one of the ten leaders. You'll all see all that, and you're right. World War III, then the mark of the beast comes out. World War III, the brunt of it, takes only one hour. That's when, from the moment your first strike hits ground in that first nuke, that first nuke, 60 minutes later, it's done. Then there's no wind. You'll know it's a sixth seal when it's no wind. But here's the word for uh, Anita. You just keep preaching God's word. Don't worry about what people on YouTube say. You already know that. <laughs> you're right, though. You're right. And when you're wrong, you get a check in your spirit. And you go, wait a minute. <laughs> so God got, God's got you covered. But concern about your family. Don't worry about it. The day is coming when you're going to send one of those 144,000, one of your boys, <laughs> you're going to send him off and say, son, you got you got a call to fulfill. And one of your boys is one of the 144,000. He's actually going to be left behind, but he's got a greater call and feel the Holy Spirit on me right now. <laughs> Anita, you gave birth to one of the 144,000. Just saying. It's an honor. Maybe two of them. But the Lord told me to tell you, this is what's coming to you right now. He told me to tell you, you need to spend your time in prayer and tell God how you want to die. Do you want the martyr's crown? Or do you want to, do you want to be one of them who's spared from the hour of trial? Do you want to be sitting at, the, sitting at ground zero and the first thing you look up and you say, oh, what's that coming out of the sky? And then boom, you're gone. You can still make it to heaven and not have to suffer through this hour. Or you want to wait until God says, Blessed are those who die in the Lord from henceforth and receive that martyr's crown. Everybody in your family needs to be in prayer. How do you want to go? And this is for every Christian out there. Now is the time. God already told me that I'm going to live until about 2021. September, actually. As a matter of fact, the way he told me was in 2001, I was just saying, God, how long before I can be with you? And I wasn't expecting the answer. He said about 20 years. I went, <laughs> he said it clearly. And that was in the end of 2001, probably around September, October. Actually, it wasn't September. It, was, it must have been October, November, or it could have been January, February 2002. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember specifically counting to about 222. That was kind of my number that God gave me. It seems to come up for me, 222, whatever. Thank God it's not 666. But here's, so, and you don't have to associate with me uh, on YouTube. I understand I'm a little bit crazy sometimes. Sometimes uh, I shouldn't be making videos when the Holy Spirit is on me so strong. Like, I'm like, I'm just like crazy. God is like, <laughs> and as these end times progress, you'll feel an increase in the anointing as long as you're obeying God. And the minute you're not obeying God, you'll, you'll feel a decrease. And the fear of God will come upon you to lead you. If you can't sleep and you're, you keep waking up, that means it's time to move. You'll know. And then when you get right to where you're supposed to be in God or where that location there's checkpoints in the Holy Spirit that you're going to meet with. 
So whenever you get to a location and you're feeling like this is not right, you feel outside, you already know. You're led on the Holy Spirit. I think the biggest primary thing for you is to pray. Everybody in your family needs to decide. And the day is coming when you're, you're going to not see your kids anymore. You're not going to see your husband anymore. You're going to have to communicate by the Holy Ghost. And you, I just want to encourage you, even the baby is going to be saved. But the day is coming, it's going to be, you know, World War III is going to happen, dude. And then the mark of the beast is going to come out. And then great persecution. But it just marks the sign of the coming of the Son of Man. The sign in the sky of the coming of the Son of Man. And the sky is rolled up like a scroll. You rejoice and say, Jesus is coming very soon now. But it's still three years out. Because the Bible says the bridegroom was a long time in coming. And it's, it's when the, it's the, uh, the cry at midnight that wakes up the ten virgins is World War III. And so there's still enough time for a bunch of people to fall away. And that's why your teaching is so important, telling people, no, the rapture doesn't happen. God's going to spare a bunch of people. There's a bunch of lukewarm, disobedient Christians who are going to have a miracle and, and, and li somehow live through World War III only to take the mark of the beast later because of their disobedience. And it's weird. It's like God has said, no, you're going to survive this. You're going to survive World War III. Because you're gonna, and it's the foolish virgins. They wake up when they when the call when the call comes at midnight, and the sky is rolled up like a scroll, and all the nations are mourning, and the sign of the uh, is seen in the sky of the coming of the Son of Man, Matthew chapter twenty four, verse twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, and all the nations are mourning. All of a sudden, all the foolish virgins wake up, and the wise virgins, and they wake up only to later realize. In other words, the bridegroom is a long time in coming. And that's a good thing for those of us who love God because we get to go through a little bit more hardship and trial and build more inheritance in heaven and you get to decide whether you want to be a martyr. Okay, so here's basically what you can be a martyr before the, the rapture or you can stand firm until the rapture and be part of the elect. But your son doesn't have a choice. He's going to last, one of your sons is going to last past the rapture. He's going to receive the, the seal of God on his forehead. And he's going to live in this world and be martyred after the rapture. Not sure which son that is. Maybe both of them. You can pray.